Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Updated Minds. In this video, I am going to explain a project presentation which is Wireless Sensor Networks Based Smart Irrigation System. Before going to know about the idea, let me tell you something. All of us know that agriculture is the backbone of India. But are the farmers getting the correct result for their work? Of course, the answer is no. There are many reasons due to which they are unable to get the correct and required outcome. Some of the reasons might be soil moisture, temperature and humidity changes due to which the crops are affected and some other might be due to diseases for crops. So, to avoid the aforesaid problem, uh, this idea helps the farmers to succeed in their work by some means. So, these are the outcomes of our idea. So, now let's know about the idea wireless sensor networks based smart irrigation system. So, according to our idea, we will measure the soil status, soil temperature level and soil moisture level, soil humidity level also. Certain level of the temperature, humidity and soil moisture are required for a crop to grow properly. So, according to our idea, if any of these levels are not in the required level, then a message will be sent to farmers mobile using GSM module, Global System for Mobile Communications. This is the basic idea of our project. So let us know more about it. Few points regarding the basic idea of our project are there in this objective slide and in this implementation outreach plan slide. So in this slide, you can see the architecture of our project. So there are mainly few components in this project. Uh, so the first one is power supply. Uh, the next one is Raspberry Pi, Temperature Sensor, Soil Moisture Sensor, Humidity Sensor, GSM Module and Relay Module. So, relay and Motor. So this is the basic prototype of our idea. In this way, all the components are connected so that our project will work. So let us know about each and every component in our project deeply. First one is Raspberry Pi. It is a low cost credit card sized computer that plugs into a computer monitor or TV and uses a standard keyboard or mouse. The next one is sensors. You can see the three kind of sensors we use in this on our screen. First one is temperature sensor and the second one is soil moisture sensor and the third one is humidity sensor. So coming to the first one, temperature sensor. It is used to measure the temperature. It has three pins. The first pin is ground and the second pin is output voltage pin and the third pin is supply voltage pin. The temperature range of this temperature sensor is minus 55 to 150 degrees centigrade. The second one is soil moisture sensor. It is used to measure moisture content in the soil. In this, we use two probes to be dipped into the soil. Input voltage for this 12 wells, this is 12 wells DC voltage. And the next one is humidity sensor. To measure the soil humidity level, we use the sensor. Generally, HS1100 is used for sensing humidity. The output frequency for this will be in the range of 5 kHz to 10 kHz. So these are the three sensors we use in this particular project. And the next one is GSM module. As I told you before, this is used to send messages to the farmers according to the soil status. Generally, SIM800L can be used as a GSM module. It has the capability of delivering GSM or GPRS 850 or 900 or 1800 or 1900 MHz frequency performance for voice, data, SMS, requires low power consumption. GSM8001 has a small configuration of 24 mm by 24 mm by 3 mm. This is a small configuration of GSM8000L. And you can see the picture of GSM module in the screen. So these are few points related to the GSM module and all the sensors we use in this project. So, uh, we can also see a relay uh, in the architecture as we see before, as we saw in the before slide. So, the relay is a switch 
which helps the motor to on and off according to the need. So I think we have covered all the components which I showed you in the architecture diagram. So these are this is about the components we use in this project. So let us um, come across the financial implication of this project. The, so the components we use in this are Raspberry Pi GSM module, Node MCU, temperature and humidity sensor, soil moisture sensor, relay motor. So the Raspberry Pi costs up to 3500, the GSM module costs up to 700 and Node MCU it is optional. We can use it or we may neglect it. So it costs 230 rupees and temperature and humidity sensor costs 40 rupees and soil moisture sensor costs 50 rupees and relay motor costs 150 rupees. So the total cost of this project is just 4670 rupees which is very low. So impact of the proposed solution. How this project impacts the current agriculture um, backdrops. So the advantages of this project is it consumes less power, low cost, changes in water level, humidity and temperature are key factors for harvesting. So we can avoid the aforesaid problem with this. So I want to conclude that it is an IoT based project which helps the farmers to get the required outcome. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please like and share the video. For more interesting updates, subscribe to our channel.